Your goal for the new year is to lose weight. That's fantastic. I love that for you. That is a great goal. Don't let anybody tell you different. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. Have you ever heard of the KISS method? Keep it simple, stupid. That's real. I think a lot of people get into fitness or a weight loss journey or something like that and they overcomplicate it. They think, okay, I need to work out five days a week. All of those workouts need to be an hour and a half. They have to be at the gym. And then I also need to make sure that I have no sweets, no sugar. I can't have candy. I drink Diet Coke every day, but we have to cut that out. And then I have to drink a gallon of water. I also need to walk three times a week. Oh, and now I also have to do Pilates. That's too much. That, that is too much. Pick one thing. Say January 1st, well, that's a Sunday. January 2nd, you know, the new year when we're all gonna start our goals on that Monday, I'm gonna make it a priority to get to the gym twice a week. Or maybe the gym is intimidating and maybe you wanna wait till it dies down because January is gonna be really busy. I'm gonna make it a priority to walk three times a week on my lunch if you work from home. Or maybe three times a week after dinner. Take your pet, go on the walk. That's it. That's the only thing you change for three, four, the whole month of January. You're like, I want to get in 12 walks in January. January is 31 days. 12 of those days, I'm going on a walk. And that walk only has to be 20 minutes. And then in February, now you've got this habit. Okay, well, I want to start going to the gym. Okay, let's go to the gym two days a week and walk two days a week. Great. And that gym session only needs to be like 40 minutes, maybe an hour. Okay. We've got our fitness part down. The part we're removing our body. We got that part down. We love that part. Side note, pick something you enjoy. Find something that is your jam because you have to enjoy it. I hate cycling. I don't like cycling classes. It makes my butt hurt. All the things. Not my jam. I am not going to make my New Year's resolution that I'm going to start cycling three times a week because I don't enjoy it. So it's not going to make me want to go. So we found something we like. We've established our fitness routine. Now what? Let's talk about food because honestly, food is going to be almost like 70-80% of the change that you see because the only way to lose weight is in a calorie deficit. That is literally the only way. It is what it is. Think about what you can add, not what you can take away. Okay? So you have four Diet Cokes every day. Maybe that's not conducive to our goals, but instead of four Diet Cokes, we have three Diet Cokes and one of those like sparkling water things. It's not that we're taking away Diet Coke, we're just adding in a sparkling water. And I will never ever not one time say you can't have any sugar because that's not true because I have sugar every single day and sugar is dope. Instead of I can't have dessert after dinner, yes you can, you're gonna say I'm gonna make sure that I have veggies on my plate every meal. We're adding, what can we add? We're adding in veggies. I'm gonna make sure that I have a fist sized portion of protein every meal. We gotta make it positive and you have to make the changes slowly and one at a time because if you overwhelm yourself, you will quit. Lastly, one of my biggest pieces of advice, accountability. You can say all day long, I'm gonna go to the gym three times a week, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna eat better, blah, blah. But unless you know yourself and that you have the willpower to do that, which we don't all do, some people can, you better find yourself accountability. A lot of people comment on my videos, how do you stay motivated? I wish I was motivated like you, blah, blah. I'm not, I am not motivated every day, not even close, but I have accountability. I have people that I see at the gym every day and there's a little bit of bullying that goes on where if you don't show up, they're like, where the heck are you? And they make fun of you and it is what it is, but they're my friends, so I know it's not real. But they hold, hold me accountable. They know my goals. My friend Kristen knows that I have a squat goal that I want to hit by the end of 2022. That means we got 10 days. She will hold me accountable to that. And she has goals that I hold her accountable for. If we have extra time, like, hey, why don't you go practice that? You're not gonna do it on your own. Find someone that holds you accountable. And last but not least, give yourself grace. Nobody's perfect. We want these habits to stick and last. We want this to be us, right? I'm integrating it into my life. This is my schedule. This is my routine. This is when I go to the gym. You can do it. You have any other questions? Love you, bye.